Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to run your own bucket server. I am going to have this in a few steps, so here's step one. Okay, so the website you're going to want to go first um, to get bucket, um, the jar file, is dl.bucket.org. Uh, currently, the current the current recommended build is um, 1.3.2. Well, uh, I'm currently on 1.4.4 at this time. And they do have some pre-releases for 1.4.5, but uh, we're going to go with 1.4.4. So since they don't have a recommended build or even a beta build yet, we're going to go to alternate versions. And then we're going to use that development build. So actually, let's go ahead and go with 1.4.5. And I'm just going to download this. And these aren't um, always completely stable, so you know you get what you you know you get what you get. It's a development build, and that's it. So wait till this downloads. All right. So I'm gonna put this right here, and this is how we're gonna start it. Now you have it. Uh, I'm gonna rename it to craftbucket.jars to keep that simple. Uh, and you're going to need this file here, and this file, uh, I will include the code in the description, but uh, let's uh, let's make a new one here. Um, all right, I'm going to copy the code, and I'll show you how to make a new one. So, let's see, new text document. We're going to name it start, because it's going to be starting. Um, okay, so... That you're going to paste in the code, which will be in the description uh, available to you. And as you can see here, it says 1024M, which means 1024 1, megabytes. Uh, and this is the amount of RAM that the server is going to use. So, um, you know, however much you want to run it with, uh, I would not recommend running it with the max amount that your computer has. Uh, if you're going to be playing on the server and running it at the same time, you need to keep that in mind and leave enough for your client to run. Um, but I'm just going to leave mine at um, 1 gigabyte because that is pretty much the standard that most people would run it at unless you're running a larger server. So what you're going to do is save as. And this works fine in just regular notepad too. And then go to all, let's see, all types. And I'm going to name it start.bat. Oops, there we go. And save. So now we've got it saved, we can close out of that, and let me just grab it from um, the screen over here. Um, so now we have it made again. So also what I'm going to do is going to make a folder for this server, so let's say test server. And I'm going to drag both the craftbucket.jar and the start in here. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. And you can see we have both folders in here now. And if we look into the code of this file, it's starting craftbucket.jar. So you need to make sure that is the name of this file. Otherwise, it won't run correctly. So now we've got that. We're going to start. And there we go. You can see the server starting. Currently, it has no plugins installed. It's just doing the default. And it's preparing the spawn area, which would be the map. And it's done. So now we're done. Uh, the server is running. Uh, let's see. We can. It's going to be a little laggy because I'm not running the correct program. But as you to record. But as you can see, it is running um, and up. So we have the bucket server, but it's not a bucket server without plugins, right? So we're going to get into the plugins in the next step. Okay. So at plugins.bucket.org is where you're going to get your plugins, uh, and there's you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of plugins. I can't really tell you exactly what you're going to need, but I'm going to tell you some of the most basic ones that pretty much every server I know runs. So I already have them downloaded um, down here. So we're going to close out of this, but this is where you really should find all of your plugins. So some that pretty much are essential in every server are WorldGuard, Essentials, and WorldEdit. These are the core plugins that I really don't know a single server that doesn't run it. So with Essentials, what you would download uh, is all of these. But really, we're not going to use Anti-Build because we have uh, WorldGuard already. 
So I'm going to delete anti build because we don't use that. And also spawn pro or this protect because we also have world guard. We don't need it. So we're going to be using essentials, essentials chat, and essentials spawn. And there is one plugin I forgot, which is group manager, which I'll get in just a second. And I'll also show you how you can search for them, so that'll work. And also world edit. So I'm going to put these all in one folder just so I can, you know, get rid of some of these windows. So we have all these, and this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to control C, copy those, and close out of that. And then I'm going to open our test server that we made earlier. Go to plugins, paste them in. Now we need to go get group manager, which is a permissions plugin. And as you can see, it's right here. Group manager. Oh, and let's go to download. Oops. Okay, so we're going to need both of these. And we're also going to drag those into our file. Okay, so now we have everything we need. Uh, and we need to run the server again to um, put, all, put in all of these plugins. Okay. So now you can see um, everything's made. It says it's created all the essentials configs, and we can go and check that. And yep, look at that. Now we have these files. So essentials config is probably one of the, the largest configs that you'll find in any server. And a lot of it is comments that you know just teach you what it is. And that's what's great about this config. It really explains every single little thing. So it's great for beginners. Really what I suggest doing is just having a good scroll through this and just seeing how things work. So like the tools, diamond toolkit, you can do it every 10 minutes. Items it gives you is a, I think that's a pickaxe, or no, that's a pickaxe. I think that's a sword maybe, or a, I can't remember exactly the codes, but these are all diamond tools. So when you do slash kit diamond tools or D tools, it gives you these items. And formatting is very important. If you mess up on the spacing, like if you were to do, say, that, it would mess up the whole essentials config. So you need to be very, very careful on your spacing. So I think we're done with that now. And really, you have your server set up, and you really just need to customize it. But for the most part, this is enough for most servers. And I'm not going to explain how to use each plugin, because that's not you know, how to make a bucket server. This is the bucket server. And to stop, I, this is very important actually, you always want to type stop into the console or into the game slash stop because otherwise causing a halt, um, like closing out the window, it stops it abruptly and it's never good to st stop your programs abruptly because they need to properly save, especially Minecraft, if it, if it, because if it's not auto-saving, then you will lose all of your work. So you always need to type stop and it will save everything and it just it disables everything like it should be. So that's really it. Um, you know, we can really just need to search through different bucket plugins, things like this, and you'll find all kinds of cool stuff, um, just things that you really enjoy. And that's really all you all there is to a bucket server. It's pretty simple. I will include all the links to these plugins that I've recommended in the description and also the code for the start script. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it helps you. Uh, please leave a comment if you need if you have any questions. I'll be sure to check them regularly and answer, and uh, share it with your friends. Thank you very much, guys.